here. Let's hear some more. And a lot of you have not been here to hear everything that's been involved in WMWA. So I'm going to give you a little short rundown. Ten years ago, three federations, Western Massachusetts, SWA, SFW, and ICW, started when some of the older guys were back in high school. So that's pretty, pretty fucking long ago. <laughs> We used to argue a lot online, back when chat rooms were the big thing. If any of you remember that. Oh yeah. So instead we decided to come together. Bill King got with Rush and decided SFW and IHW should form. And we started WMWA. And SWA joined like the second show after. So they were, they were right there too. And we wrestled in Holyoke for a while and it was good. A lot of new talent came in and we were young and we wanted to learn. And then we started going to a local trainer who started teaching a lot of us the ropes on what wrestling was, not just in the ring, but what wrestling was supposed to be. And we brought that back to WMWA so we could avoid the politics so we could avoid the traveling. Avoiding the shows that we didn't want to do in stupid bars and fucking high schools. We wanted to do this here with our friends. Not worry about who is going over or who is taking this or who is taking that. It was a group effort. And no one was selfish. We all did what we had to do. Time grew on. You get kicked out of one place, you find another. You get kicked out of another place, and you find another. Eventually, we're here. Although we pay for it. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to get kicked out anytime soon. So I think WMWA is here to stay. And it hasn't just been about the wrestling. WMWA has been a brothership. To those who have wrestled or have done camera work or who have refed one match, we've still talked to people who have refed one match out of the entire 10 years that we've been here. The, the contacts grow deep. And it is because, because of that that makes WMWA as special as it is. When when Big C's mother went to the hospital at one time, we had a show in her name. When Dave Dawson's dog, Toby, passed on, we had a show for Dave and his dog. We stick together and we wrestle together. And that is why I haven't wrestled here in a year, but I will continue to come back support WMWA as much as I can. And so doing so, WMWA had asked me to host today. And it is an honor to be here. Not just to host, but just to be here. And again, to the people who could not show up through this scheduling and other circumstances, we completely agree. And we wish you best in your future endeavors. Yeah! <laughs> duties, not to make this any longer than, than it has been, part of my hosting duties is I'm here to give out some awards. So let's first start off with the WMWA's Faction of the Decade 2004 to 2014. This right here, this trophy, we had many factions. We had two throwdowns. We've had the Alliance. We've had numerous sorts of one-show type factions that really just didn't work out. So I'm presenting this award to New Throwdown. Thank <laughs> you. 
so much to break the village. I was only five and obviously they don't need survival witness. My entire village burnt to the ground. New Throwdown has had many members, as you can see right here, but we believe these are some of the important ones. We are missing Mr. Uh, Mr. Angel, Angel Dust, back then, but that's okay. Again, we, uh, we wish him well in his future endeavors. And, uh, so, this again, Faction of the Decade. Big C. Pass that yeah. Around. Yeah. talking about factions, Woo! which inspired one of the greatest matches for the WWE history. We cannot forget a great tag team, which is why we're also giving this award to the greatest tag team of the decade for WMWA. Rush, come on out. Became a team in 05, we were a team to all the way to 2012, and uh, I, I grew a lot with him, I learned a lot from him, but he is uh, the property of Bobby Otis, so he was not allowed to come out here. But the good thing is, guys, the good thing is, guys, he, I wanted to have a match with you throw that. How about we have Faction of the Decade versus Tag Team of the Decade, right? Does that sound good to you guys? Yeah. Sure. Right. Like I said, no, back here didn't want to do the match. Back here didn't want to do the match. You guys are ready? Okay. Well, but the good thing is Bobby Otis is a businessman and backyard is for sale to the highest bidder. So I'd like to call Bobby Otis so I can make this transaction happen so we can get this match. Let's get the Southside Player Manager out here, the Bouncer. Yeah. 